Good morning again, folks and family. This is Raymond X the Prophet coming to you live from my apartment living room here in sunny Ocala, Florida. This is the Word for Day, Part 6 for June 28, 2020. Today is Thursday, July 29, 2021 at 10.58 a.m. Let's go ahead and begin with the first journal entry this morning. June 27, 2020, 9.07 p.m. Israel will return to God. Let's go to the book of Hosea, chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Then said the Lord unto me, Go yet, love a woman beloved of her friend, yet an adulteress, according to the love of the Lord, toward the children of Israel, who look to other gods, and love flagons of wine. So I brought her to me for fifteen pieces of silver, and for an omer of barley, and half omer of barley. And I said to her, Thou shalt buy from me many days, thou shalt not play the harlot, and thou shalt not be for another man, so will I also be for thee. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king, and without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image, and without an ephod, and without teraphim. Afterward shall the children of Israel return, and seek the Lord their God, and David their king, and shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. The next journal entry, June 27, 2020, at 9.08 p.m. God's charge against Israel. Let's go to Hosea, chapter 4, verses 1 through 10. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery, they break out, and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish. With the beasts of the field, and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fish of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive, nor approve another. For thy people as, for thy people are as they strive with the priests. Therefore shalt thou fail in the day, and the prophet also shall fail with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. As they are increased, so they sin against me. Therefore I will change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people, and they set their heart on their iniquity. And there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways, and reward them for their doings. For they shall eat, and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom, and shall not increase, because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. The next general entry, June 27, 2020, at 9.09 p.m. The Idolatry of Israel, Hosea chapter 4, verses 11 through 19. Whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. My people ask counsel of their stocks and their staff to come to them, for the spirit of whoredoms have caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their God. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains and burn incense upon the hills, under oaks and poplars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore your daughters shall commit whoredom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery. For themselves are separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore the people that doth not understand shall fall. Though thou Israel pay the harlot, yet let not Judah offend, and come not ye into Gilgah, neither give ye up into Bethaven, nor swear the Lord liveth. For Israel sought it back as a backsliding heifer. Now the Lord will feed them as a lamb in a large place. Ephraim is joined to idols, let them alone. Their drink is sour, they have committed whoredom continually. Her rulers with shame do love give ye. The wind have abound her up in her wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. The last journal entry I have for you this morning, June 28, 2020, at 2.45 p.m. Benjamin Faircloth, The Danger Zone, June 28, 2020. I'll go ahead and post this link to his sermon in the description box below, the YouTube link. And I'll go ahead and read from Jeremiah chapter 24, verses 1 through 10 concerning that sermon. 
the Lord showed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of the Lord. After that, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive to Kanaiah, the son of Jehokim, king of Judah, and the princes of Judah, with the carpenters and smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that were first ripe. And the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten. They were so bad. Then said the Lord unto me, What seest thou, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, and the evil, very evil. They cannot be eaten, they are so evil. Again the word Lord came to me, saying, Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, Like these good figs, so I will acknowledge that they are carried away captive of Judah, whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good. For I will set my eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land, and I will build them, and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up. And I will give them a heart to know me that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people. And I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. And as the evil figs, which cannot be eaten, they are so evil, surely thus said the Lord, so I will give Zedekiah the king of Judah, and his princes in the residue of Jerusalem that remain in this land, and them that dwell in the land of Egypt. And I will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt, to be a reproach and a proverb, a taunt and a curse, in all places whither I shall drive them. And I will send the sword, the famine, and the pestilence among them, till they be consumed from off the land that I gave to them and to their fathers. Okay, folks and family, I have several Spotify and YouTube worship songs for you this morning. Elevation Rhythm, This Moment. This Moment by Elevation Rhythm. And I'll post both these links in the description box below, the Spotify link, as well as the YouTube link. You see this here. Church of the City featuring Aliyah Shere, The Land of the Living, You Don't Lie. The Land of the Living, You Don't Lie by Church of the City featuring Aliyah Shere. And I'll post both these links in the description box below, the Spotify link and the YouTube video link you see listed here. Cody Cardis, Christ Be Magnified. Christ Be Magnified by Cody Cardis. I'll post both these links in the description box below, the Spotify link, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. The Porter's Gate, featuring Audrey Assad, Nothing to Fear. Nothing to Fear by The Porter's Gate featuring Audrey Assad. And I'll post both these links in the description box below, the Spotify link, as well as the YouTube video link. You see this here. Finally, Corey Voss and Madison Street Worship featuring Olivia, I believe it's Elderwood. More Than Anything. More Than Anything by Corey Voss and Madison Street Worship featuring Olivia Elderwood, more than anything. Uh, wait a minute, that might be Calderwood. That would be was Calderwood. More than anything by Corey Voss and Madison Street Worship featuring Olivia Calderwood, more than anything. And I'll post both these links in the description box below, the Spotify link as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. Okay, folks and family, that's the Word for Day Part 6 for June 28, 2020. Once again, the Word for Day Part 6 for June 28, 2020. Today is Thursday, July 29, 2020, 11.09 a.m. This is Raymond X, the Prophet, coming to you once again from sunny Ocala, Florida, here in my apartment living room. Everyone have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. God loves you, and so do I very much. Remember that Jesus Christ is coming back again very, very soon. Get ready for his return. Once again, Jesus Christ is coming back again very soon. Get ready. Love you all very much, and I will see you on the next video upload. If the Lord wills be so. Goodbye for now. I love you all.